Hello guys and welcome back to Total War Attila and Medieval Kingdom Total War 12 AD. Okay. Um, so currently we have a campaign with the Latin Empire, but uh, uh, but I I have heard on the 12 AD Discord that the Latin Empire is not a Finnish uh, faction. And which means they don't have access to their high tire and late tire unit. Um, we get kind of bad, right? So we stuck with uh, early unit. If we try to play it, we if we try to continue the Latin Empire. And uh, actually, in the, this campaign, I really want to try out the difference between the early unit and the high tire unit and the late unit. Of the, the mod over here. So that's the most in, uh, interesting thing. We can try it over here, right? So um, I guess we'll have to restart the campaign and play with another faction. That's kind of disappointing though because I really like the Latin Empire starting position over here with uh, so many enemies around and we can have a lot of action right uh, at the start of the campaign. Okay, um, so as for the faction we will try to play with over here, I think we will try to play as the Empire of a period. Okay, I think it will be it will be quite fun as well. We still start in this region in this tier in this uh, region of the map and uh, hostile neighbor as well. We have strong infantry cavalry and this loyal noble. As for this the trade, we have um mm -hmm, pretty good trade of here. <laughs> Better wealth from every counter and um right religious influence and integrity. Okay, all the good bonus we can have and uh, we can't quest a Roman land. So that's good. We enable Iron Man mode. Difficulty will be legendary as always. And we activate the judgment day and not one step back, just like before. Okay, so I think this could be a very, very fun campaign as well. Now, let's go ahead and get into the game. Oh, wow, we have a cinematic cutscene over here at the beginning of the campaign. Wow, that's insane! That's wow. I I didn't know we have a whole cinematic cutscene as a as the start of the campaign like this. This is so good. Holy shit! This is so cool. So so cool. <laughs> we are the mere shadow of an empire that once ruled it all. Left behind in the dust as the world around us moves on and forgets our civilized ways. Wow. <laughs> wow. The legacy we built crumbles before us as our homeland is conquered by the Lords of the West. While our capital is ransacked by Crusaders, the Turks close in from the east. We are threatened on all sides, yet there is still hope, for we are Romans. For we are Romans. Right. Let's rebuild Byzantium Empire. So good, holy shit. That's it. it this is the coolest thing I have ever seen in a, in a mod for Total War game. Wow, this is so good. Having overcome greater challenges in the past.
We are the remnants of the greatest mm. <laughs> the world has Yeah. The greatest empire the world have ever seen. With the strength of our ancestors to take back what is rightfully ours. Holy shit. <laughs> to restore our mighty empire and rule the world once more yeah <laughs> that's true okay now here we go wow a cinematic cutscene that's like uh, the coolest thing i have ever seen in a mod for total war game all right that's so so good Right at the beginning of the game, we have something that cool. Holy shit, I really like it now. So, as a period, we start with one settlement over here in a period. Um, okay, we have a starting armies of pretty good units, right? We have some heavy melee infantry, look pretty good. We have some medium bow infantry with very good armor here. 45 armor and really good start melee start for an archer holy shit javelin man i don't think we will want to have this javelin man right now and some cavalry okay just uh skirmish cavalry and some medium shock cavalry good five armor only right so this guy will have no armor at all the, but they are very fast at, and they have some javelin so they can be useful can be useful if we use them right just chase down enemy like a missile unit and use the javelin to fire at the enemy like carry it would be it will be useful general heavy shock carry obviously and we have some pike man good some spear man over here Spearman, okay, can be useful. Some sword man. So I think the first thing we do over here is pick our target. We want to have action right away in this campaign, right? And I think as the Apirus, we go ahead and attack the Latin Empire over here and uh, take their territory. This guy over here is the vassal of the Latin Empire, right? Yeah. They have some Varsat over here. Latin Empire and two Varsal. Cool. So I think we try to declare war on the Latin Empire and their Varsal. And then we will try to take this area and and um, rebuild the Byzantium Empire at a period. That's so good. So first, um, can we just ask to join war with the Thess Thessalonica over here? Like, uh, they're the weakest around here, right? They try to move our armies right away. We have quite a few units over here. So I think we should be able to take this city. Not too difficult. 12 units over here. Okay. I guess we can just attack them right away. With our army here. We are very strong. I think we can disband this uh, javelin man though. They're pretty bad. I don't need them. No armor at all. Eight ammunition. Mm hmm. Let's see. They have shoe wall. Holy shit, really? <laughs> interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, we need some more. That one unit of heavy shock carry. Obviously, we try to get him. And then, uh, over here we can recruit some sword man. Some more archer here. But we have enough archer. Oh, probably. They are not only archers, they are very strong 
melee infantry units as well. Almost as strong as the sword unit. They only have less, um, less armor, slightly less armor. Compared to the sword man over here. I cannot see the Charles Bonnet on this, uh, on this archer, but I don't think it will be very high at all. Less missile block chance as well. And less man. Okay, it can be you. It can be important. So, light shock calf. This could be enough actually. I think we'll try to attack this guy right, right away. We don't want to wait, right? Let us, uh, the Bulgaria here, to let us join war against the Thessalonica here. Moderate. Okay, let's set. So we only have war with the Thessalonica. Good. <laughs> Very nice. And we attack them right away. Because why not? I think we should be able to win this battle quite easily. With all of our units here. Alright. Some carry. A lot of uh, levy spear. Oh, That's quite the army actually. Crossbowman. Um, very bad infantry actually. Very bad infantry. But they do have uh, quite some cavalry units here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Can be, can be. This can be quite difficult. All arm infantry here. So we can get more units. We have to fight with uh, just our, our starting armies over here. Not fine. It's fine. Okay. Cunning. Whoop. Get this guy out. And uh, we assign a governor. And that's it. And that's it. That my king. My kill. And he is currently leading the, the army. Good. They get a wife for him. And uh, loyalty. It's pretty bad, right? Because of the trade that reduces loyalty of everyone here. Okay. Melee. Scholar. Melee. How about this guy? Morale. You. Oh, influence. That's bad. And you. Have a unit. I think we can hire one of these dudes over here to be my to be my governor, right? Five hundred gold. You can do that. And uh, look good, governor here. This guy with a lot of cunning here will make a pretty good uh, general. This guy as well will make a pretty good general morale. Good. So, should be enough. Get the goat. And uh, I think this guy was worth signing out to fight it. Or the field. We want to do that. I don't think we should uh, attack the city. With uh, this kind of army. We do have some pretty good infantry though. But it's not enough. Not enough. The enemy towers will be able to do a lot of damage to our unit. And this will be bad. So, right. Let's just seek them out. They will have to uh, move outside to fight me. Probably. Okay. And let's try to get we some trade agreement. Oh, come on. We're having a mutual enemy over here. Let me fan Bulgaria. You don't want to? How about you? <laughs> Obviously, we could try to destroy them soon. And how about you? Nope. Yeah. Okay, whatever. So I think it's good enough now. We can uh, just enter and let's fight this battle. Technology. We still go for the school, obviously. Don't really care about technology right now. Just go straight for the school. So we can build it and uh, everywhere and increase. Uh, the research rate so we can get our high tire unit and our late tire unit 
here as soon as possible. That's what I want to have. Now let's go. Alright. So the enemy is starting out to fight us right now. Good. Um they look quite dangerous actually because of this cavalry. Mm -hmm. But if we can deal with their cavalry early, I think we can win this battle not too difficult. Now let's go. We do have the Pike Man. The Pike Man can uh, can deal with the enemy heavy shock cavalry very effectively, unlike the Spearman. Spearman will not be able to defeat the heavy shock cavalry. But the Pike Man can. That's the difference. And we do have some units of Pike Man over here. We have some Archer as well, but uh, the Archer, I don't think it would be very useful. Okay. So, rain. Raining weather. Which means we cannot use flaming. Well, we still use. We can still use flaming shot in the rain. But I think it's better to use heavy shot. Yeah, flaming shot. Take a look at this. Flaming shot. Basically, it's all um, normal damage. Base damage 35. And they have a bonus versus cavalry 10. Which means. The flaming shot over here will deal a total of 45 uh, regular damage to enemy cavalry. It will get reduced by the armor. But the heavy shot over here, we have 7 armor piercing damage and that guaranteed damage. It will penetrate the enemy armor. This will be better versus some heavy shot cavalry like this will, will have really good armor. Yeah against um, some cavalry without armor like this uh, horse skirmishers like this one with only 5 armor flaming shot will, will be better but in this case I think we yeah we, 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 we can use we can use the north the standard shot actually because it's just 5 damage difference but the re reload time reload time yeah it's massive over here is 25 and over here is 56 so almost twice as far when we use the standard shot to fire at the enemy carry and it's just 5 damage different so in case we uh, fire against the light carry it's better to use standard shot not flaming shot to quickly destroy him um, so the only situation where we where we want to use flaming shot against enemy cavalry is where we defend a settlement and the enemy cavalry have nowhere to go and uh, station so we can just fire them freely and like that we will try to use the flaming shot um okay now pike man here um, spearman, 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 smear, spearman, spearman will be just a supporting unit to support a cavalry fight, support the pikeman here, protect the flank of this pike unit. Okay, good. You guys, go ahead and try to scum it. Bring the enemy cavalry here so we can kill them first. Heavy cavalry. And we have some medium cavalry here as well. Right. They try to fight like, like, like this. We have some sword unit. We have some javelin man. Javelin man. Which you wore. Oh, interesting. Standard shot. Extended shot. Standard shot and extended shot of the javelin man have exactly the same damage. Interesting. And the heavy shot only adds uh, like 5 damage to the armor piercing value. But also reduce the base damage by 15. Okay, it's not worth using it, this one at, at all. <laughs> Let's just try to use extended shot. So we have much better range, right? Much better range. Good. So I guess this guy has the same ammunition, right? Standard, extend. Okay. Yeah, more range, same damage. Why not? Let's use this one. 
And here we go. They try to move in there. Get the cavalry, get their cavalry to move towards us. Like that. Like that. We need to be careful with this uh, crossbow man. They will be quite dangerous. They can be really dangerous actually. We try to move around. Stay away from their range. And try to hit this cavalry. Go in. Throw some javelin. That's out. Like that. Alright. If we can move, if we can just move like this, this crossbow will not be able to fight at my oh, cavalry. Keep moving around like this. And then quickly get out of their range. Okay. Good. And uh, come on, chase me. Chase me. Would you? Chase me. Throw a volley, get out. <laughs> no damage at all. Holy shit. So. Okay, we can get the cavalry to chase my the uh, skirmish cavalry here. That's bad. That's bad. Try to fire this Chevalier cavalry unit. Hmm. Okay. This crossbow man will be a big problem because uh because because our pike man they're pretty weak to missile attack so let's try to use uh, our archer to kill the enemy crossbow unit let's try to use extended shot actually so we can outrange this crossbow man right hmm okay just slowly moving in Come on, let's try to kill this uh, GRO actually. Why not? Stay away from this dude. Try to get the GRO. Crossbow militia only. Okay, I think our archer should be able to kill it. Not too difficult. Is that 4 cavalry unit? We have some cavalry here. We need the spearman to support our cavalry here to be able to fight against the enemy calf all right let's try to kill the enemy general um guard mode guard mode wait Um, we don't have guard mode on this guy, really? So here we go, the cavalry. Charson. Got this dude. Holy shit, they can't be charged into my pike man over there. Very funny. Very funny. Fire. Oh. Guy he cannot kill his Charles here. Fire. Get out of there. Get this car kind of unit. Good. Oh, 
Holy shit. Holy shit. Got my carry here. Attack here. All right. Bad. Okay, we kill this dude. Spear, get him. I. Charleston. Forget uh, our archer here is also a very strong sword unit. So they will be able to kill the enemy um, spearman here very effectively. Get this carry Jarrow right now. Fire. Get up. So this way. This way. You guys melee mode. Actually. Actually, get up. Get up. I man. Good. We killed the generals. Good. This way. Get him. Okay, I think we got our victory right now. Here, Ike Man. Okay. Get him, short man. That's so many, um, so many crossbow though. That's so many crossbow. And our carry is very heavily wooded. That's pretty bad. Charge the spearman in. Archer, get in now. Our archer is also a very strong sword infantry. We can use them in melee. Second win. Charleston. Destroyer. Get him. Oh, come on. Freaking crossbow unit. So many of them, damn it. Crap.
crossbow man at that. We need more carry. Good. Sword this way. Okay, us. Uh, the good thing is our archer here. They're very good in melee. They're very good in melee. If we can stop this uh, archer from running. If we can just stop this guy from running. We can get it. Okay. Hero charge it. And this is good. Alright. Alright, this should be enough. Right, finally. Let's chase them down. Kill everyone. Quite a difficult battle though. Yeah. That's so many. So, so many. Wow. I'll carry this route. Probably from the Fatek. So. We will not be able to kill everyone here. All right. So this will be good enough. Spear militia. Let's try to kill this one, and we will end this battle. Just try to chase this guy down. Hmm. Or oh, the archer, they're very strong. Good. Pretty good. Yeah. Hmm. This Kermit's cavalry is pretty bad. They're not being able to even defeat the crossbow. So I think we just dis disband this uh, horse skirmisher. And uh, get some light lenses. I think this would be more us useful. Okay. Take on warrior. Like that. And now we can just take the settlement. Probably. Integrity. I don't need that. Um, let's get this in it for campaign map moon rage. All right, and then we take this salmon, just auto resolve, and we take that. Mm -hmm. Lot one spear. Okay, it's fine. We can just recruit them back, and we loot the salmon for some gold. Obviously, we need that. You stay here. I chose the regent. Nick will try to declare war on this guy. Joy war actually. And let's see, replenish mirate. Probably. And then we can try to get some cavalry buff over here. Melee attacks can be good. Ooh, charge bonnet. And memorial. It's good. Good, good. All arm infantry will be useful. A castle. Let's try to. Hmm. Let's try to actually dismantle this one. Reduce their level so we can convert this more easier. Trading dog. Good. Olive. Food. Good. Wild food, that's good. More chores over here, nice. And this one, I want to convert it into uh something like a library or uh 
a fairground. I mean, what is that? A tyrant. So we can get some spies. This model reduce this level. Whoa. Over here, let's try to get. We can try to upgrade, right? Why not? It will allow it to recruit the heavy shock cavalry, and also the pikemen will be very useful. And let's try to stay here and replenish this first before we do anything else. Dispense one, use it. I don't think we need to use this javelin man also, but uh, actually, they can be very useful. Hmm, javelin man, javelin, and also pretty good in melee as well. So they can be useful. Yeah, let's keep them. Let's keep them for now. Welcome, worthy. Trade open. Nope. Okay. Wait a little bit before we try to repent a little bit before we. Go ahead and attack this guy. There will be a rebellion here, probably. Let's see if we can hire another pirate here. Nope. Cool. Agents. We need more agents. Mm hmm. A wife. Damn it. Not really a good wife, but whatever. Whatever. They get another governor here, right? And I think we have no choice but to use... Let's get this guy out. Governor here. Good. And growth, obviously. I welcome you on behalf of the people. Cool. So, that's uh, everything we can do in this turn. We have no gold left. Let's try to end turn and let's see what happens. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Income gets a little bit better now. It's good. Um, 12 unit. Alright. We plan it. Okay, let's go back here. Let's see if we can uh, recruit some mercenary here. Oh no, that's not available yet. And uh, we can try to get some of this light shock cavalry for just one turn. Light cavalry. The medium cavalry is pretty bad actually. We need heavy cavalry. Really need it. Convert it into this one, right? So we can uh, build uh, a tavern, but we need to convert this first to have uh, the garrison. Um, so let's just make a city, right? We have a castle here already for recruitment. So let's make this a uh, Wallet city for better economy, right? Let's build it five turn only. And over here, we can try to go back here, recruit some unit. Hmm, interesting. I think we only need a few units of um, light cavalry, and we should be fine. How about spearman? They are really bad. I think we'll disband this guy actually. They're pretty bad. I don't think we need to use them at all. Let's try to get a few units of light cavalry and this will be enough. Two. Just two light cavalry. When we have a set to heavy cavalry and uh, and pikeman, we will get more more uh, heavy cavalry and more pikeman over here. And this will be perfect. Good. Perfect. This one. Good. 
this building will repair themselves and we actually run out of gold already 16 units very good we have enough units to fight right now okay just recruit for one turn and go back here now let's go okay what are you trying to do over here like running into my territory like that I don't like it you know get away from me um this guy where are they trying to go to if they moved closer we would declare war on them but I still want to replenish this for one more turn before we do that rebellion imminent we have our armies here to protect it so it uh, will be fine will be fine cool still don't want to trade okay whatever Left up here let's take uh, let's take uh, inspire population and best religions cool and then we try to get the converse the Perseus over here right good now let's move on we keep the church or shall we convert the church into something like uh, uh, wait okay uh, military 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 recruitment pike man mm -hmm. spear man pike man ballista catapult some artillery should we try to make some artillery not now, I guess. Not now. I think I prefer to have no artillery right now. We try to have some um, when when we advance to the later area. We can try to make some cannon, something like this. Right now, I don't want to have the catapult trouble chest. I don't want that. So, let's just enter it. And let's see what happened. Let's go. Hmm, okay. So this guy, they make a fort inside my territory. Really? 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 Come on, don't do that. So I guess we just declare war on him right now. Because why not? Just declare war on him right now. And we take out this army. We can ask to join war with the Bulgaria over here. I welcome you on join war the against this guy. Words. And then we accept it. Good. Welcome, worthy friend. And then we can just go ahead and attack this army over here. Good. So, archer, spearman, uh, some carry. We have pikeman. And we have very strong archer over here. I think we should be able to win. That's not too difficult. Let's go. Alright, so here we go. Start deployment. We have a fourth battle over here. Okay, so uh, there will be some uh, towers something something but this doesn't matter we have uh, we have archer we can burn these towers with our archer fire row like this okay pie short carry here and chair here right so first let's try to burn these towers down let's go Burn these towers down. There are some uh, crossbow as well. We might try to use our Asher to kill. Burn these towers first. Burn it. Crossbow, man at arm. Bow militia. Okay, I think 
our, our archers here, should be able to kill him. Oh, wait, what? Not very good. Burn it, come on. Burn it. Um, the towers, they're not dealing a lot of damage as well, right? Um, can we burn it? Wow, it's not good. Okay, it looks like just a waste of ammunition. Really? And the tower is it's not doing a lot of damage to our units as well. So let's just uh, move our un unit in here. And and we go then and we we'll fight right away. Right. Okay. I sure get over here. And then we just charge into the fort and kill everyone. Eichmann first. Get over there. Shoot here. You guys here. Can we flank around? Okay, let's try to use the light cavalry here to throw torches at uh, this. Mm -hmm. Let's try to use. Start a shot only. For better rate of fire. Right, and we try to kill this. I'm sure, for example, because why not? And then Pike Man over here, like this, good. I try to kill this crossbow. Okay, Pike Man, we should be able to kill the surgeons quite easily. Uh, because Pike Man, very strong in melee. Let's go. I, um, I mean, Sword Man charges in us as well. Wait, what? The surgeon? They're defeating my Pike Man, really? Oh, really? Okay, I recharge it now. Kills carry. And when we can move our carry inside, it will be the end for the enemy. Good. Javelin, focus on this carry unit. Okay, it look like. Wait, what? Wait, what? Really? Pike man, come on! Pike man should be able to defeat this guy easily. Okay, Archer. What, really? Our Pike Man is losing. Okay, so I think it's time to send our carry in. Let's move. Let's finish it. Okay. We can send the Archers in into melee, actually. Right. Let's send the Archers in into melee now. Or oh, this guy with two walls. Let's get in. Wait, what? Just carry first. Uh -huh. Let's go. Do 
be a choice here. Finite. Hmm, it's strange. I thought that uh, the pikeman should be able to win against the spearman here very easily. So that's really strange. But uh, apparently, our pikeman's losing against his uh, fifty. Be a unit. That's strange. Get up. Kill the general now. I think we can kill him with all of this uh, cavalry over here. Like this. Okay. Cool. Every cavalry keep killing. The archers. They are very very powerful. They're very powerful. Look at this. They fight into melee just like a, a sword unit. Maybe even even better than a sword unit. Yeah, it looks like they are even better than a sword unit. Get out. Get up. Jero die. Good. Get stood. Get up. And and one more rear charge and we win. One more rear charge and we win. Ah, sure, they're fighting real well over here. One more rear charge and we win. Harry Charleston Get right, holy shit That Apriot Carvey, they look so good That heavy carry unit And that's the end of this battle Okay So, look like the Pike Man, they're not doing very well against uh, other, other melee infantry unit But I'm sure that the Pike Man will be able to counter enemy cavalry very effectively just against its um, melee infantry units they look like they are not very very good against them right okay okay it's tr interesting very interesting so um, now we will not be able to pursue this guy yet we will try to go back into our city and um, let's see Next time, I think we try to use our our cavalry to fight against the enemy infantry. And this um, archer, they are really, really cool. They will they will be able to deal down damage at range, and in melee, they can fight really well as well. Holy shit! That's good. That's so good. Um. Okay. We don't have enough gold to build anything, right? Let's wait uh, three more turns until we can, we can, uh, we can build it up, and let's try to get some spies or something, and then we will try to attack this guy. But first, there will be a rebellion spot here. We try to de defend our our city first. Okay, trade now. Nope. Okay. Let's, so let's just enter and let's see what happened. Let's go. Hmm. Okay. So the enemy uh, will try to uh, replenish over here, right? I don't really care. What is that? An army from uh, from the Republic of Venice. Um, going around here. Uh, I don't know. What are you up to? I don't care. So let's try to get some skill on my uh, on the priors over here. Alright. Alright, public orders still very bad, but we can upgrade. No, not yet. We still need to wait. Okay, let's see if we can get one more cavalry over here. The mercenary. Uh, heavy cavalry. Nope. Okay, so let's just stay here for now. K 
cannot recruit anything. Over here we have um polar infantry. They also have the formation same with the pikeman. But uh, compared to the pikeman, they they have more. They have more armor. They have more armor, right? Better weapon strength. Um, more men. Okay, cool. More melee attack. Less melee defense. Interesting. I don't know how they will perform in battle though. Less missile block chance as well. Mm hmm. Let's see. Let's see. We need to try them out to see how well they will perform, right? Okay, good. The day's greetings to you. Still no trade? Oh, come on. Trade with me. And uh, we will try to. Oh, the Bulgaria just take a settlement from. From uh, from the Latin Empire, right? Okay, it's interesting. So over here, we might um, we might have to fight against the Bulgaria. Actually, yeah, it's not a big deal. Whatever, we try to fight against all of them. Cool. So not much to do in this turn. Just end another turn, and. Let's go. Okay, governor, level up. Governor, let's take some public order over here, right? Authority is this one. This one. And you too. Research rate will be very useful. Um, take this one first. And this one. Okay. That's better. 10% is actually a big deal for technology that take 10 turn to uh, research 10% will reduce it to 9 turn so it's actually a big deal right so now let's uh, just end turn let's see what will happen let's go okay cool so next turn we will have a rebellion and one more turn until we complete this water city it's good so over here we can try to upgrade it into a tavern tavern like this one um we have enough food to do so right it will be uh it will allow us to uh recruit the spy that's very important we need some vision around right that's very very important uh, what is that? The fifth crew set. I don't know. Whatever. And uh, let's see. Looks like public order problem here will get fixed soon. Will get fixed soon. Yeah. Will get better soon. Welcome, worthy friend. Okay. We do not have any gold left. So, uh, we will not be able to recruit anything now. Yeah, we have one more heavy cavalry available, but no gold to recruit them. So let's just enter. We have gold in the next turn, so yeah. And here we go, the rebellion. Just take out, just take them out real quick, and then we try to recruit one cavalry unit, and then we try to go back and get rid of the our enemy over there. That's the the plan. We should be able to do so, but uh, uh, public order. We need to get public order up first. I don't want to lose my uh, city to the hand of the freaking uh, rebellion. This would be very bad, right? Just a small army over here. So let's get rid of them right away. Should be easy. Yeah, just four units. Just auto resolve the battle. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Oh wow, we lost. What? Why? What? Really? We lost this sword man. Damn it. Oh no. No. That's bad. Come on. Ah. Uh, 
yet. So let's go back here. And uh, R, the heavy cavalry. Okay, whatever. And then go back here. And then next turn we will attack um, this guy. Okay, should we recruit something? Like this light spear infantry. Um, we can have some uh, some of this uh, skirmisher. Javelin man. Javelin man, but they have two wars. Okay. <laughs> kind of interesting, right? Um, we can only get one of these spearmen. Not worth it, I think. So, I think this should be enough. Should be enough. Next turn, we just go ahead and attack this guy. No big deal. We still have enough over here. And uh, the most important thing is we have a lot of cavalry, and we have good uh, archer, and this javelin will be very useful. Cool. Now just go ahead and enter. Next turn we will attack. Okay, so here we go. They still have only eight units in their army. That's pretty weak. Um, so. We just go ahead and put a seek on the city, like this, like this, and we try to seek them out. Only one, two, three cavalry unit, good. And we try to seek them out of the city, so we can get rid of them. Cool. Over here, right. Um, oh, let's see if we can recruit some uh, mercenary here. Another, an another, another uh, heavy cavalry here as mercenaries. That's very good. If they become available, we will try to get them. We get uh, as many heavy cavalry as we can. They are very strong. Very strong. Good. So, I think they will sally out right now. Or else we will stop the mount. We need to. Ooh, wow! Eight turn to be able to starve this guy out down. Okay, <laughs> but I don't think we should attack them in the city because we don't have uh, strong enough infantry to actually attack the city, right? Cavalry is, is pretty bad at attacking city, but they are very strong in open field battle. So let's try to seek the enemy out. Like this. How would you like your defeat? Okay, Commander. Kingdom of Crostia declare war on me. Mm-hmm. Ah, they don't want to move outside. Okay. What is that? They don't even have an army here. And uh, let's see. With the level two castle over here we have a very strong uh okay wait not too strong hmm garrison all right look quite decent actually one heavy calf two heavy calf and some spear spear and archer okay so i man right whatever um we can try to raise uh, an army here Raise an army here to act as the garrison. Okay, why not? So mm, we can we can. That's the governor, right? Um, get a wife for him, and we can get this guy out at. Uh, oh, this guy actually with a lot of cunning. He will be a good uh, general. Let's get him out. Tell the roads. Tell the roads. Hmm. Raise an army. Wait, where is he? Wait, what? Where is he? 
I'm afraid we cannot. Um, what the? Where is he? Ah, uh, all right. Um, what that? Okay. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Because because of this, right, right. Because of notification. Okay, we need to clear it first. So let's just stay here. We can uh, recruit some cool unit now with the uh, with the level two uh, castle over here. And uh, most notable unit here will be the Furnoy Roy Heavy Shock Cavalry. Good. Good. We will want to have a few of them. No. Nah. Spearman. We can't have the pikeman yet. Right? No. We can recruit the pikeman already. Where are they? Ah, here. Benaflatory. This dude, okay. So a few pikemen should be enough to uh, defend our city. Just uh, two, two of them. Should be enough for now. Okay, and we still try to seek this guy out. I don't want to assault the city. Let's try, just try to seek them out. That's it. And let's recruit an agent over here. We can get a, a spine. Let's get this guy first. Watchman. Okay. So we can try to use this guy to train troops, right? Good. And next turn we try to get one of this guy out as well. But now this will be enough. Let's go. The Holy Bible may oh, what is that? But when it is Christendom itself that is threatened. What is that? Is Who said, right? All that is holy. His Holiness Ooh. the Pope has called a crusade to reclaim the Holy Lands from the infidel who would deny Christian pilgrims their right to visit the Holy Places. Okay. It is time for the armies of Christendom to put aside their differences and unite under one banner, the sign of the cross. Ah. Give back God's children what is rightfully theirs, or die trying. Ooh, wow, this look cool. Holy shit. Crusade for Cairo. Whatever. Who really care? Alright, get a wife for this dude as well. Mm hmm. Promote this dude. Like this. Better. Ooh, that's very good. Personal influence for the king. Necessary. Uh, all right. Okay, this will be more useful. Good. Ah, oh, and this guy, they still don't want to study out. What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? Just sally out to fight me. Six more turn until they starve. Damn it. So we need to wait for a while. Over here. That's pretty bad though. But uh, whatever. We have to do that. Recruit another agent over here. That would be... This guy. Well, whoever. It's fine. And we can't do anything yet. Okay, we need to, we need to, we need to level up this guy. But uh, we, what, what kind of, 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 of action he can do right now? Call to arm um, in our old province. No, we cannot deploy. We can't deploy. Why that? 
we can't get him in inside the the army. We can't even deploy it in the the enemy territories. We have no action. Oh wait, we have an action. That is assassinate. Holy shit! Just one, just one kind of action. So I think we just use them for reason. <laughs> just use him for reason. That's good enough. And uh, we can't do anything now except just ending turn. We will not be able to to attack the city, right? With uh, a lot of cavalry, there's a lot of cavalry like that. We need to seek them out. Damn it! Probably we might need to have some sort of uh, artillery to uh, actually attack the enemy settlement like this. All right, that's a lot of unit the enemy have over there. Cool. <laughs> Very nice. So I guess the war with the uh, with the uh, Hungary here, right? Will be will be fun. They do have a lot of uh, army. Reconquistar complete. What's that? No, we're wearing it. All right. All right. Um. Political favor, rejection. Come on. So we need to end this war soon, or uh, war where it will kick in, and uh, our public order and our public order and uh, our economy will 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 be affected. So let's take a look around. Which is too cool. At least public order is pretty good now, so I don't really really care. Just take this um city over here, and we should be fine. Five more turn until they go into they take attrition. That's bad. Come on, and they don't sun out. Damn it! Damn it! I don't want to to attack. Ah, oh, come on. We stay here and seek for a few turn now. Damn it. That sucks. Four more turn until they take attrition. That's bad. Settlement strength. Wall strength. Um Can we see the bottom up? Is there any bridge on the walls? I don't think we have any bridge there yet. Hmm. If we have a bridge on the walls, we can use our cavalry. But uh, not now. I think we just continue to seek. Just continue to seek them out. Let's try. Four more turn, and they will take attrition. Let's try to wait for that. Okay. Keep getting uh, integrity up in here. And let's try to spy on them, on the Hungary over here. They don't have any army uh, over here. All of their army is fighting around this area. Really? Come on. Why try to stay here? So let's go. Keep trying to seek this guy out. Come on, get out of there! Fight me. Okay, what that? Um, no, intervene. I don't want that. Cool. Come on, get out of there. Laying siege to the settlement. Ah, uh, one bridge. I think we can attack right now. We have one bridge. We can send our cavalry inside. Damn it. Let's try to do that. I really don't want to attack them with our Kyrian army like this. The cavalry, they will not be able to do much. No, 
actually, I still, yeah, keep keep seek them, keep playing seek over there. Damn it. Um, <laughs> shit. The governor. I don't want the the governor to have that, but uh, whatever. They get public order first. Like right, that. That's better. And all right, they have an army here already. Let's try to do something. Let's try to get some experience for our agents here, right? So we can have some other action. Several types building, gather intelligence. Yeah, like this. So we can uh, gain again passive HP. Assassinate. Try to do this. Okay, succeed. Very good. So, call to arm. But why we can't use this action? Harass army. Right. Guerrilla activity. Let's try to get this. So we can deploy the agents and uh, get passive XP form. That's better. All right, now let's go. The people will turn to the legions, and they. Okay, will more war. Very good. Kingdom of Sabia. Why not? Let's fight. <laughs> okay, so the enemy. The enemy, the enemy sent an army here to seek out another small army here as well. Um, we will try to sally out to fight this battle. Obviously, we have the garrison here. We have some cavalry. We have some units here. We try to fight them. Over here, at this guy. They still don't want to move out. Damn it! Come on. Two bridges on the walls now. We might need to attack them. Okay. Um, but first, I think we need to sign out to fight this battle first. We even have a DZ over here. That's pretty bad. And uh, we have negative uh, income right now. Since we have a block it. Um, Alright. Actually, we will try to end this episode uh, here. And we will fight this battle in the next one. I think we can win that. They only have some uh, light spearmen, some pretty bad uh, mid-soul units over here, and and some cavalry. We do have some cavalry as well, and we have a better melee infantry in the garrison. So I think we should be able to win that. Not too difficult. Okay. So, um, thank you very much for watching, and. We will continue this campaign in the next episode.